Hey guys, what's going on? Nintendo 91 or Tommy here, bringing you guys a live commentary on some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm not really going to be talking about the gameplay or anything regarding it, unless I just start commenting on it when I rage or something like that, because I do hate this game. I mean, I don't hate it. I, I'll play it, but it's just so un... There's so much stuff that they did with it and gimmicks that they did with it that just pisses me off. Um, and I'll get into that, but I want to kind of talk about Black Ops 3 more. Since the beta did just launch, and uh, I, I've been watching a lot of streamers play it and stuff like that, so I've kind of been able to get a feel for it myself without actually playing the game yet, because I don't have a PS4, so I don't have the beta. I'm going to get the beta for Xbox One when it comes out on the 26th of August, which it's only six days away. I'm not going to spend 500 bucks on a PlayStation 4 to play a game six days earlier or whatever than I could just keeping it on an Xbox. Plus, I'm too used to the Xbox controller, and I'm not ready to make that switch. Even though they're doing MLG on PS4 now. I don't care about that, really. Competitive or whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm going to talk about some things that I've noticed in that game that I do like, that I don't like. And then I'm also going to talk about this game and why it has been the least played Call of Duty for me in the history of Call of Duty. I have a total of two days on this game in terms of playtime. So I've never really played it much. I think I'm only second prestige, about to prestige third soon here. I'm like 45 second prestige. Um, and the reason why I just don't like this game is there's they put in a lot of gimmicks into it just to make additional money. And they're, they're whoring out money and trying to be whores for money through a couple of things they did. And I'm going to get into that. But uh, the one thing I hate about this game is the fact that... I feel like when you boost jump in this game, your hit detection is so off and unfair. Opposed to like past Call of Duties where the hit detection was actually decent. Now, the reason why I think the hit detection sucks is because they're not ready. What? They still have not fixed the lag that occurs in this fucking garage. They, they still have not fixed that. I remember that from day one. There's always lag whenever you get into a gunfight in that garage. It's the dumbest shit ever. Oh shit. What is he looking at? But, uh, okay. So what I'm talking about. I feel like when you jump in this game, your hit detection is so off. Come on, give me some score streaks already. Shit, they're all in there. Alright, I need to figure out where the hell they are, man. I'm gonna go for C with my buddy over here. Alright, anyways, yeah, the hit detection, when you're freaking flying through the air and shit, this- ARE YOU KIDDING? WHAT ARE YOU DOING THERE? Ah, I love that, man. I had a teammate there and he refused- Oh my god, my aim is so bad. Alright, let's get some streaks going. Just from capping some flags. This guy coming tunnels. Uh, there's a guy coming streets too. Ugh. But uh Yeah, when you jump in this game, the hit detection's so off. It's so bullshit. Damn it. I love I love hip firing in this game. But the only thing positive. Literally. Literally, right there. Like the hit detection. I'm shooting him as he's running and nothing's happening and then he jumps into the air and he just evades all of my bullets and they're not getting I mean I'm on target with it too. I, I'm on target and it, like half of them are hitting because I don't think this game's code was written to compensate for freaking jumping like this. I, I, the hit detection when you move is so off and that's the biggest broken thing in this game. Uh, here's the other thing that I think is the biggest gimmick in this game too. I, I'm going to start with another game to compare to. So I'm sure a lot of you have played Clash of Clans or know what Clash of Clans is. Basically it's one of those games where you build a base and you can level up each of these items in your base but it requires resources that you gather over time and then the upgrades take time but then they have this form of currency which is gems where you can actually buy them for real life money to get these gems it's a faggot Oh my god, they all appeared right there, no matter how much spraying, I didn't get a hit marker. But you buy these gems in-game, and you can use the gems to instantly upgrade stuff without having to wait like 10 hours for it to upgrade to level 5. And that's exactly what Call of Duty did. Because this game... He still looked like he was alive. But because this game has such a variance in these weapons, where like... The speakeasy clearly dominates every variant of... Um... ASMs. 
It, it's the most overpowered thing, and obviously not everybody has it, and not everybody has gotten it. But if you want to spend 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 bucks on the game to get supply drops to get that access to the overpowered weapon, I think that's a straight up gimmick, and that's straight up bullshit. I don't think they should be allowed to do that shit. I think it's enough that they charge us for map packs and all that shit. But now they add this gimmick, and it's so unbalanced when somebody has, like, the royalty BAL, and then I just have this regular piece of shit one. It's so unbalanced. I'm not going to spend money to get these stupid supply drops just so I can actually play on an even battlefield as everybody else. It's straight up unfair and unnecessary. It, it, there's no more gun skill is no longer in this game I, I take an ASM one and give it to somebody that spray and sprays and they will dominate me because the gun is just a faster rate of fire and it's just a higher damage it, it's it's straight up unfair and unbalanced and it, they're just whoring it out for money Wow you guys are stupid let's all crowd around it Okay, so yeah, I think that's the biggest gimmick they ever did in this game, and I think it's a complete joke that they would even do that. They, they care more about the supply drops than anything else, because that's what makes them the most money. That's seriously what makes them the most money. They could give a shit about anything else. Yo! How many hit markers, man? How many freaking shots? It's just, it's so bad. Hit detection. Yeah, uh, this game's gonna go past 10 minutes now. I was hoping it wouldn't because I want to do some supply drop openings at the end to see if I actually get anything finally. But, uh, yeah. The fact that you... Ugh, I hate this stuff. The fact that you can pay money to have the upper hand in this game is bullshit. Everybody should be on the same level playing field and it should come down to individual skill. It's not. It, it's no longer skill anymore in this game. It, it's not gun skill. It's just straight up, hey, I'm gonna spend... They're trying to find ways... For you to spend money so you have the upper hand. And it's stupid. They make so much money off of those advanced supply drops, I bet. I, I hope Black Ops 3 does not do something like that. Uh, but anyways, let's get into Black Ops 3 and why it looks like it's going to be a good game. Right off the bat... It, get in, get in. No! No! Man, if I would have had that, I would have had my... I would have had my kill streak going. Um, oh, here we go. They're just going to destroy this kid. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Enemy taking alpha. Warbird support requested. I can't believe that just happened. I, I like it was around a wall in my game and that happened. Really? I can't deal with this game, but Black Ops 3's moon jumping, it's I'm calling it moon jumping. Because it's not boost jumping, because you jump so slow, and I like that. And the reason why I like that is because in this game, you use freaking moon jumping to, or boost jumping to an advantage. Because you, you miss, you, you become like invincible and in, in for a second when you're boost jumping. Because you really don't get hit markers at all, or like damage at all. You never get hit markers when boost jumping. So, it, Black Ops 3 made it where, yeah, they kept it in the game, but now you're, you're boosting so slow that it's actually... It makes more sense for you to to not boost jump because you go so s slow through the air that you're more vulnerable. And I like that they did that. I think it's stupid that they kept boost jumping in the game because it's so unnecessary and I don't know. It's so Titanfall and if you wanted to play Titanfall, then you would buy Titanfall. So I think it's dumb that they did bring it back, but uh... Hold on. Hold on. I'm kind of on a roll here. I want to concentrate for a second. Where'd this guy go? Where'd this guy go? I got my assault drone already out. So. Alright. Warbird. Let's do something here. Melted. Melted. By the Obsidian Steed. The other overpowered BAL. Here you go. Um, yeah, moon jumping's not going to be an issue for me. The wall running, whatever. It's stupid, but sure. If they wanted to copy another game, that's completely fine. It's... It's stupid that they did do that, because now what's the difference between Call of Duty and Destiny? There is none. It's not. I, I would buy Destiny if I wanted to do that shit. I'd buy Call of Duty if I wanted to stay primarily on the ground. So, they should have kept it that way. Oh, man. My freaking killstreak stole like 100 points from me right there. Get out of here, boy. Uh, the other thing that I think is good so far is the gun balance seems pretty even in that game. 
He's spawning right there, and I'm stuck there. The gun balance so far is pretty balanced. There's nothing, like, overpowered. They all seem to have the same fire rate, from what I can tell, so that looks good. And obviously, that'll change once the game comes actually out and is launched. Uh, but the dumbest thing about it is probably the specialist abilities. Those are so stupid and unnecessary. Like, why do you have... How was I not, not a kill? I get an assist. I need one more bullet. But the specialist abilities seem so stupid. That's going to be irritating when you're on a, a score streak. And then the stupid bow and arrow just rapes you. Lag, lag, lag. And the obsidian steed again. Of course. So overpowered. I'm not going to be able to puncture. So whatever. Well, I got one round of score streaks in this game, so I'm happy. Um, and I leveled up. But the, yeah, the... The perks seem normal. Um, I heard flag jacket's not really doing anything right now, which I'll probably fix. That's a pretty big. That's a pretty big deal. Stop giving me assists, man! He's stealing my kills. These are all my kills. What the hell? Grenade launcher on a royalty god. What a pussy. <laughs> I can't believe it. But uh, yeah, that that's gonna be fine. Um, the maps so far look really good. It's not like they're throwing too much of the jumping in there. I just saved your ass, so I should get money for that, or extra points. Alright, cool. Aim assist was decently helping me there, but it wasn't too great. Where are you, you little boost jumping fag? And of course, they're behind me. I hate this boost jumping shit so much, I can't wait to be done with it. Um, game over. Cool. Yay, whatever. Yeah, Black Ops 3, though, I'm so pumped for it. I, I don't mind the wall running and the boost jumping again. Like I said, it's not really boost jumping, it's moon jumping, and I feel like you're at a disadvantage when you do it. So people will primarily stay on the ground, which is good. Uh, weapon balance, whatever. So far, it seems fine. There's no, like, BAL in the game or ASM1, which is fine. That's good, because I hate that shit. I hope they don't do supply drops where they have variants of weapons, because that was the biggest gimmick ever given or put in call of duty and so unfair and then uh let's do some supply drops maps look cool the flow looks fine the, how it plays looks fine so i'm pumped for that let's see if i get anything good oh wait i gotta back out of this lobby first and a bunch of shit as always not gonna get anything good in a regular one um let's try this one give me something good Ooh, enlisted big deal i'm just gonna dump it all right, how about this one? Fetching online profile, what? Professional, nothing good. God, I hate doing this, this is so dumb. Ugh, nothing again. All right, one advanced supply drop. Elite. Ooh, elite piece of clothing. Dumbest thing ever. I, can you imagine paying, oh, I got another one. Can you imagine paying 50 bucks for supply drop and 90% of the time you just get some stupid piece of clothing? Like, how is that? Elite. Give me an elite weapon. I don't even have any, I don't think. This is so stupid. Elite. Oh my god. Oh my god. So dumb. So dumb. Give me Black Ops 3. I can't believe this. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening to me rant. I'm going to make another video about some Black Ops 3 stuff. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do another live com. Play some Kill Confirmed or something. But yeah, this... I can't wait to be done with this boost jumping. I can't be w wait to be done with this gimmick game where they sell you bullshit and to to have the upper hand on somebody. I, I can't wait for that to be done. I just want a level playing field again where it's skill. It's skill now and outsmarting the enemies, not spending more money than the enemies. That's so stupid. But uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, I will be making some Black Ops 3 videos once I get the beta as well as once the game comes out. So Call of Duty is going to come back to my channel because I have high hopes for that game. If you guys watch the full 14 minutes of this, I do appreciate it. Let me know by leaving a like or throwing in a comment saying your least favorite thing about Advanced Warfare. That'd be awesome. See you guys later.